Hi, this is Lucas Miracle Kazi Korf coming to you from Table Mountain as the sun is setting on a beautiful South African day. And thank you for the opportunity to just share with you. 31st of December was kind of a turning point moment in my life where I was sitting in my study looking at 2012 and just really not being in a good space in my life. I just sat and realized I need an intervention. And as I was sitting there, I just heard the words total resolve in 2012 and immediately got excited because I knew this was something that the Lord was saying to me. I checked up the word resolve and the Lord just said to me, write down the word resolve, the meanings of the word on the left side of the page. So I started writing down the words, word for word on the left side of the page. And immediately I just sensed, I must check what the 20th book in the Bible is. And I went page through the 20th book and it was Proverbs. And verse 12 of Proverbs is speaking of a scripture where God says that we need to see with his eyes and hear with his ears because there's a difference between looking and seeing and hearing and listening and at that moment I realized something profound was about to happen and I started writing and the next thing that I just heard was take the first five books of the Old Testament 20 verse 12 of each book and write it opposite the words of the meaning of resolve that I wrote on the left side of the page and I just thought to myself, what are the chances? There's no chance that it can match. And it was just so amazing that there was only five books in the entire New Testament with 20 chapters and 12 verses. The last one being Revelations. And that was directly opposite the last word of the word resolves meaning, which was conclude. So what are the chances that Revelations would be directly opposite conclude? And as I was writing, these words just started coming and the book just unfolded. And the book is basically an end result of a young man that died in a car accident, lying on the street on a dirty road. And he had four things that he left undone. The first thing was to love God. The second thing was to love people. The third thing was to love life. And the fourth thing was to leave a legacy. And this was my opportunity to try and capture this message and tell people the importance of those four aspects. I just want to end off with this one thought. Your life can't be bigger than you think. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. You'll prosper and be in health as your soul prospers. So you need to think and apply those thoughts in actions to have an awesome life. And that's what God wants for us. That's what God wants for you. And I hope this book is going to help you just a little bit to get closer to those four things. Thank you.